What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads, and we have some NBA basketball playoffs to go over. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment your thoughts and opinions on these NBA playoffs as we move forward here. We have the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James squeezing out a W in Indiana, 104-100, to and they tie the series up at two. People are very criticism are criticizing this team. LeBron James drops 32, grabs 13 and 7. Statistically, when you look at what he is doing and what he is producing for this team, he needs some serious help. It's at that point. Listen, I'm a LeBron fan. We all know that. There's a ton of haters out there, but you just have to realize that this team is LeBron James. He doesn't have the same kind of power that he's had in the past with other players. So he's legitimately all LeBron James right now. A little bit of help here and there, but look at Kevin Love. He shot 2 a 10 and at 5 points. 0 for 3 from the 3 point line. How is that going to help him produce? The only person who produced from this game was Kyle Korver, who had 18 points. Other than that, you're like LeBron does everything. And it's hard to do that. It's an individual sport to an extent, but it's also a team sport. It is a team sport. But it's LeBron James, and he beats the Cleveland or he beats the Indiana Pacers in Game Four to tie the series up two to two, which is huge. I mean, LeBron has not faced this type of adversity in the first round. On top of that, you have the Bucks; they take two now, two in a row against the Boston Celtics as they win by two, and it came down late, and the Celtics had a chance to actually tie the game up with the last possession. But as the, as it was tied, one hundred two to one hundred two, you have Giannis go up and give it a little. How do you do? And that puts them up by two, and then they get stopped. The Celtic gets stopped on the other end. So now that series is tied two to two. Jalen Brown with thirty four points. These young guys with the Celtics, listen, they're not what they would be with Kyrie Irving and. Gordon Hayward, but, but you got to think, these young players are gaining some really big-time experience in the playoffs and being able to be a little bit more of a overall factor in these and, and, gain, and gain some experience. So moving on to the next series, the Spurs and the Warriors, and the Spurs take one by 13, and the series is now 3-1. to one. People are freaking out. The media, oh my god, are the Warriors going to be... Stop it. It was one game. You're bound to lose a game. Come on. This Spurs team isn't going to be able to take down the Golden State Warriors. Stop it. That's just a joke. It's just a joke. I can't believe it even comes down to that. Seriously. It's one game. It's one game. The Warriors will be okay. So that series is at 3-1. to one. On top of that, you have the Washington Wizards take two against the Toronto Raptors. And going into Washington up 2-0, if you're Toronto, you're thinking, all we got to do is split. Because if we go home up 3-1, we're okay. But they can't even do that. That series is tied 2-2. Two to two. And I watched a, a person on YouTube who is a Toronto fan. And he was talking about the Raptors. And he was upset with all the turnovers. I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I've been there with the Sixers. I get that. He's like, yeah, they turned the ball over over like 16 times. You think that's a lot of turnovers, bro? Come watch the Sixers. At one point, we had 27, and we're still finding ways to win. But Washington, 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 they make some noise. You look at DeMar DeRozan at 35 points for the Toronto Raptors, but that clearly was not enough. You have John Wall giving them 27, 14, and 6, and Bradley Beal giving them 31 points. So that's tough to stop that dynamic duo once they get going a little bit. Moving on to the next night, it was a little bit of Monday night action. The Rockets easily, by 19 points, take down the Timberwolves, and that series is now 3-1 to one Houston going back to Houston. I could see that ending, obviously, in five games, as a lot of people can see. And then this one, this one is, oh, ho, ho. the Utah Jazz destroy the Oklahoma City Thunder at home to take a 3-1 lead. And this Oklahoma City Thunder team looks like trash. No compete level. They're, they don't even look like a team out there. While you have the Utah Jazz and Ingles getting into a fight with top players on the OKC. And this Utah Jazz team is playing like a real team. They got the energy. They got the crowd going. It's unreal to what they're doing in Utah. Although I hate them because Donovan Mitchell is not rookie of the year. It's Ben Simmons, but that's for another day. I'm impressed with this Utah Jazz team, but on the other end, I mean, I knew this Oklahoma City Thunder squad wasn't going to be going going deep. They look like they have, you know, great players on paper, but they don't play like a team. But look at this. Let me give you a little bit of Carmelo Anthony. 5-18, 0 from 6 from 3, and gave you 11 points. 
Okay? Now, Paul George gives you 32 points. Russell Westbrook gives you 23. 7 of 18 shooting. Paul George, 9 of 21 shooting. 2 for 9 from 3. Russell Westbrook didn't hit a 3. Uh, they, eh, what are they? What are they right now? So Utah Jazz up 3-1. to one. I mean, I don't see this game going in. Uh, I don't see this series going in past one more game the way this has played out. Now, granted, they're going to be on the, you know, OKC's home floor. Just wow. Wow. I mean, I knew they weren't going to make that much of a run, but this is hideous. This is poor effort. This is not a team. Not a team right now. So with that being said, that's where we are here with the, with the NBA series. As time moves forward, we should start seeing some next round opponents coming in here. A little bit of four wins for some of these teams, which would be nice. We can get the next set of games going and, and break them down a little bit. So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment your thoughts so far on these games here and what you think on these playoffs as a whole. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.